Well, good morning, Mighty Mathematicians. All right, the time has come for us to travel a little bit around the world and see some other types of coins. Now, I have had the awesome um, experience, boys and girls, and the opportunity to travel over to Europe two times. One time I went um, when I was a senior in high school and I went with our choir and we toured. We sang over in many different cathedrals all over in France. And then um, I got a chance to go back to Europe again when I was in college with a different choir and um, travel around singing in all different types of cathedrals. When we got to go also to, um, we went to Germany and we went to Italy and we went to Austria. And so it was such a wonderful opportunity. So when I was there, I was able to collect some different types of coins that I would like to show you. And I just have a couple of those ones. I also have um, a coin um, from Canada to show you, and then also a couple from Hong Kong, China. So we'll take a quick peek at these. Um, I'd like to show you them right now. Here we go. All right. So, all right. So boys and girls over here, these are our coins. So these are our coins for the United States. So we have our penny, our nickel, our dime, and we have our quarter right here. This first one I'm gonna show you is actually a Canadian dollar. And um, Elizabeth II is on the head side. And this is their dollar, boys and girls. So cool. Canadian golden dollar. There's so many different um, sides to it as well. It's a really unique and interesting coin. There's the Canadian dollar. This one right here is specific to France. It's called a franc. And this is worth two francs. Two francs right there. There's a big number two on there. There's lots of ridges on the side. So this is called a franc. These next ones are called, um, these are euros. And um, this first one is worth 20 cents. This one is five cents and this one is one cent. So these um, euros you would use all over in Europe. And look at the difference of the, this is equivalent to one cent and here's our one cent. And boys and girls, there is a money exchange rate and you can even look that up if you're more interested in knowing the currency rate um, because our money is the United States, our dollars are not always the same exact value in exchanging rates. Um, and that's something maybe your family can help you dig into if you're um, interested in checking that out. But let me give you a, you can see a little more there. Those are, that's 20, 20 euros, five and a one. And these ones last over here come from Hong Kong, China. I've never been there, but um, a family friend traveled. This one right here is their 50 cent piece. So this one's worth 50 cents. So cool. And this little one here is 10 cents. Little 10 cent one. Those are pretty neat. Now, when I was over in Europe, boys and girls, something amazing also happened. This is a picture of Mr. Schrick and I. And when we were in Venice, Italy, um, Mr. Schrick, we were in a gondola boat. There was a, a man on the back and they you can see this big long oar that they push and it's a long, thin boat um, and Venice, Italy is pretty incredible because it's a city surrounded by water. So you get around by boats. And when we were in a gondola ride on our choir tour in college, Mr. Shrick asked me to marry him. So this is a picture just right after he proposed to me and I said yes, of course. So this is pretty special to me. Um, so yeah, those are the coins from a few little places around the world, boys and girls. There are, of course, so many more that we can dig into, but um, I hope that you enjoy just taking a peek at how they're similar and how they're different to our coins. I hope you have a great day just reviewing all the fun things of money. Uh, next Tuesday, we'll start a brand new topic. So take care, everybody. Bye.